hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i'm going to show you how to solve uh, the error java c is uh, not recognized and operate operatable command uh, in my previous video i have shown you how to uh, run a hello world program without adding to environment variable uh, i'll show you one example here uh, have a hello world program here in my f drive you can see here uh, hello world uh, java so if i'm opening it I have just uh, given a hello world uh, class and uh, a main method is there uh, and uh, a command to print out a uh, hello world okay now let me uh, run this from my f drive I am navigating to f drive here drive here and uh, if I am uh, typing java c uh, hello world dot java I am just copying it and pasting it here if I'm giving an ender it's getting Java C is not recognized an internal or external command in my previous video I have shown you uh, how to run this Java C without adding to environment variable now in this video I'm going to show you how to add uh, that in environment variable and how to get rid of uh, this error message okay first uh, go on to the installation folder where we ha you have installed your java so in mine it is in c drive program files in java and in jdk in bin uh, java c or java compiler has been installed here okay so what i want to do is just copy this uh, folder completely i mean this path completely uh, go back to your desktop and in my computer or this pc just right click and go on to properties where you can see here advanced system settings just click on that and here you can see here uh, various tabs are there Con computer name hardware advanced system protection remote so in this uh, you can see here advanced uh, not in advanced yeah advanced uh, st here uh, we can see environment variables button just click on that there is user variables and system variables so user variable depends on the users and uh, the system variables which we need to get uh, add the java c or the java path inside that okay so uh, here uh, a variable name path is there in the system variables you can see just uh, look over all the variable name you can see a path variable name just go to edit and here just add that the path which we have copied uh, the jdk path where our java c compiler is there so and just click ok and again ok click ok now just restart your ca command prompt ok i'm just closing that and again i'm uh, restarting my command prompt and if i'm writing here java c directly and press enter is gonna take you the java c compiler so what actually he is going on here is uh, if i am directly putting a java c here it will uh, check on all the parts here which we have given so it will check all the parts uh, given here and whether if uh, there is an uh, command java c can be executed from any of these parts any of uh, any application is uh, there to run that uh, java c compiler now uh, going back to our command prompt and uh, let's try uh, running our hello world project so i'm going to navigate into the f drive where we have our hello world java class so let me copy it and i'm writing the command java c and pasting that uh, hello world.java if i click and i should create the class file compile it and create the class file just give some time to do it yes it has it has been compiled and let's go here in the after you can see a class file has been created now i can directly run uh, with the command java hello world so press enter should run yes hello world please like and subscribe so this is the uh, java class and we have given a system dot outdoor printer to print uh, this message so that's all about how to add uh, anything in environment variables and how, how to add our java c compiler into environment variables and you can uh, directly run through a command prompt so if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching